There are two broad ways to make comments on electronic assignments. The first is to use track changes or inserting comments using Microsoft Word and the other is to ink over the documents and you can do that in Word or in a PDF document. These two ways are suited to different types of content and different personal preferences. Each has advantages and disadvantages. For example, inking allows free-form comments or drawings or, or comments over the top of mathematical equations, while track changes and type comments allows you to save time by using reusable comments and all of the other tools built into Word. Of course, it's possible to use both types of ways of marking up documents in Word. Unfortunately, the ability to add in comments in words is generally disabled and you need to turn it on before you can use it. I'm going to now show you briefly how to uh, ink comments over a Word document and insert reusable comments and then we'll show you how to enable the inking. And you will see that I can click on the Start Inking command. Select a pen and then I can start inking on this document. You can see I can draw over the document however I want. I can highlight different things. Um, to get out of inking mode I just press escape and you'll go back to the normal text mode. You can see I can type text and the ink annotations flow with the document. Earlier on I also talked about uh, the advantage of text comments. Some of the major advantages of text documents is that you can really save quite a bit of time. Highlight the text comment and then pick the uh, uh, comment that we want to include. And you can see that the comments can be quite detailed. Of course we can also combine inking as we have here in this matrix. I could highlight that whole uh, matrix and then I could just include a comment uh, there. So Yes, this is true, but in this case we need to go and see that URL. The other advantage, of course, of uh, using Word text is that any of the things that you could have done normally, you can still do. So we can still do track changes, perhaps. The emarkingassistant.com slash community site contains a list of software relevant for marking, grading or commenting on assignments. You can also download a free 30-day trial of eMarking Assistant from eMarkingAssistant.com. As mentioned earlier, the inking commands are generally in the Review tab. To see that, click on Review and you'll see there is a group here called ink but there are no commands in it. To enable the commands you go to file, options and then customize ribbon. If you then open up you will then go to the customize ribbon, select main tabs and then open up the review tab. You'll quite often see a ink command here. For some reason you need to remove it and then create a new group and then rename that to ink. Once you've got a group called ink custom you, you can then add commands into it. To do that, go to the Choose Commands From, select All Commands, and then add the commands. The first command you want to add 
is start inking so scroll down to start inking click on the command and then add you will then want to add the other commands for choosing different types of pens so scroll up to pens select the first one then add and you want to add all of the pens commands you can then click OK now you will see when we go to the review tab we have a number of menus related to inking if I can't select these menus it's because generally because the document is in compatibility mode and you can see that by looking at the title it will say compatibility mode in the in title I can convert the document to the latest version of Word by going to file info and then clicking convert I'll then see a message that tells me what is going to happen now if I look at the title you'll see the document name there but no compatibility mode